Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will look at some few Figma tips that most of you are probably already aware of. But for those of you who are new to Figma, this video is for you. Let's get right into it. The first tip is quick crop. Consider that you are creating a website and you need to crop a number of product images to fit a particular space. One choice is to precisely crop an image using a masking tool. Even though it takes time, doing this can be useful if you need to generate a very specific crop. However, if you need to crop an image quickly, all you have to do is to press the Alt key on your keyboard and double click. This allows you to concentrate on the areas of a picture that require modification without wasting a lot of time fidgeting with the masking tool. Quick note, holding on the Alt key enables you to crop all sides of the image at once. Let's move to the next one, tidy up. Maintaining order and cleanliness in your designs is one of the difficulties of working in Figma. Fortunately, Figma provides a helpful tidy up tool that may make cleaning up your designs quick and simple. Use the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl Alt Shift T to launch tidy up. You may rapidly straighten up your designs using this method without utilizing your mouse. The tidy up icon in the properties panel, which is situated on the very right of the alignment section, is another option. Now let's talk about detaching multiple instances. Dealing with items that have numerous nested instances is one of the issues you could experience when using Figma. This might be frustrating since it can be challenging to change the design without having an impact on the nested instances. To quickly and simply disconnect all nested instances from an object without losing their settings, Figma includes a valuable feature. You may use it to get a list of all the instances in your design, including nested instances, by searching for instances in a quick search menu that appears when you press Ctrl forward slash on your keyboard. From there, you can choose to only disconnect the nested instances or all of the instances. The instances will be detached from the parent item but keep their settings, including auto layouts and frames. This allows you to save time and effort by changing the parent item without impacting the detached instances. Finally, let's talk about making styles out of images. Pick the image on your canvas and select styles from the right hand panel in Figma to save it. Give your image a name and then click the create new style button. Afterward, you can access and utilize the image as a style whenever you need it. When using this tool, keep in mind that the resolution of the image may have an impact on how it appears in your designs. For instance, if you utilize a low resolution image in a significant portion of your design after saving it as a style, it can appear blurry or pixelated. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please share, like and subscribe. Bye.